since mine is new with tags your girl is about to get paid the way that this is discolored up under the arm should be illegal okay Hey guys, welcome back to my channel via Glow. If you're new here, my name is Gloria and I'm a full-time reseller on multiple different apps and I resell clothes and shit. So in today's video, I have yet another Goodwill Bins haul. I like to show y'all what I pick up as frequently as I can. I did skip last week's binge trip and that one was actually good, but I've already put everything away. So it is what it is. Anyways, uh, so I got a lot of clothes yesterday. I think I got like 60 pounds I want to say um I did pay $72 but I was sourcing for the buy sell trade store another business adventure that I'm trying to do as well as my current full-time business so I got a lot of clothes and um I do know that at least about 20 to 25 of them are not in here because I'm doing my business ventures over there the first thing is actually something that i just washed i didn't dry it because i didn't want it to shrink but this is chico's this is their newer label so i was confused in like a few hauls ago about this new label but this is the newest label um and this is a size one which is a medium i definitely picked this up because it was in a like new condition and then i love the embroidery to it and it's kind of like an eyelet detail situation and a little bit of a puff sleeve um so i got this one it is a open front cardigan and i do think this one's going to perform pretty well so i'm thinking about pricing that one at about maybe 32 dollars and looking to get about 25 30 for it this is a great brand to look out for it's called me to magic it is a size large and it's just this really pretty boho maxi like I want to say it's like an overlay type of skirt now the only problem is it does have a flaw right in the front um, it's kind of like a brown discoloration I did wash it and it didn't come up so here we are <laughs> so I'm gonna sell this one of course a little bit lower than what I like but I still think that somebody would love that piece this is a polo ralph lauren size large patriotic like sweatshirt it is like a knit sweatshirt so it's very lightweight this one also has a flaw right in the front and i'm gonna have to drop the price on this one as well but i'm okay with that this is a size large and i do think somebody would love this probably gonna price this one like at i don't know maybe about 28 and hope to get about 20 to 25 for it all right so this is banana republic these are men's tailored slim fit pants these are a size 32 by 34 and that was the main reason why i got it that is like a really really good size and these are just like some good old trouser work pants nothing too crazy about them but i'm probably going to get about 20 to 25 for those this is a great brand to be on the lookout for. It's called Neils, I want to say. And this is actually a size medium. And it's just this really pretty quarter zip sweatshirt situation. And it does have thumb holes. I'm probably going to try to price this at about $38 and try to get about $30 to $35 for it. This is just a Victoria's Secret bra. This is a super push-up bra. So that was the only reason why I got it. This is a 36 double D. This is the wear everywhere super push-up. So I got this one and it said that it was manufactured in 2022. So I think that's a good time frame. This is a really pretty um, exciting find if I can get the stains out. This is actually a collab with Reebok and Pyre Moss, which I know nothing about him, but I avoid Reebok like the plague. I'm going to be honest, but uh, something told me to look into this because it just felt like it was really good quality and the fact that it was a collaboration. So this is just a cropped sweatshirt and it just says as USA as you. And of course it's missing the drawstrings and then it does have like um, grease stains in the front. So I have this one sitting aside because I do plan on doing what y'all told me to do as far as getting the grease stains out this is athleta i was really happy to find this this is a size large i might need to try this on just to see if i can keep it um yeah it does have a few grease stains on it as well they're very minor but i do think that that would affect the sellability and i would have to drop the price and since this is a size large it's in great condition minus the grease stains i want to get about 35 dollars for this this one was a little disappointing so when i was um kind of like going through the rows again because this was about to be a really bad thrift trip until out of nowhere it just got amazing 
So I came across this. It was a couple right at the end. They were kind of sorting through their stuff. And I think they threw this back. And of course I got excited. I'm like, oh, let me get that. It is a J. Crew knit blazer. It is an extra, extra small. So I am like, okay, great. There are no holes. And I just, you know, glanced the front, the back, the sleeves and everything. And it was no holes. And then I look up at the armpits when it was time for me to list. Y'all probably can't see it. But this person must was a sweataholic, okay? The way that this is discolored up under the arm should be illegal, okay? Um, so I do need to treat this. But yeah, definitely gotta wash those. This is a fun little piece. It is a Chico's linen set. So you do have the button up top and then like these really pretty um, Capri style pants. Now I initially came across the bottoms first and I was like, oh, I'm not picking up um, any Chico's bottoms. But then when I came across the top, I was like, oh, I grabbed the top and then I had to go back and find the bottoms, even though they were kind of in the close proximity. So I didn't have to look very far, but I was really happy about this one. Um, this is actually a size 12 four so it's a, a two this is another set this is a victoria set um i'm actually kind of regretting this one due to the fact that this is just from like 2012 this is not really that vintage um but i just really thought this colorway was just so stinking cute it's kind of got like a uh, sparkle metallic situation to it it's a size medium and it's just you know a pair of pants and then the long sleeve top so we'll see how that one's gonna do this one was fun to pick up. This is my third time finding this exact item. I have it in three different colorways. I got it in this green, and then I got it in orange, and then I got it in navy blue. And I think the other two are a size large. This one's a medium, and this is the only tag that I pick up from Juicy Couture because this is actually the Y2K early 2000s tag. Um, the other one is current, so I only picked this one up, but this one's a size medium. What I like about uh, Juicy Couture is that they actually change the color of the tag due to the size. So like if it's a large, it may be pink. If it's a, um, a small, it may be orange. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, so this next one is actually a style pickup. The brand is called Airport, but it is a blend of 70% Angora and 30% nylon. And it's just this turtleneck sweater vest. It is so stinking cute. It gives me like quiet luxury vibes. So it's super soft too. The only problem is it does have like two holes in the neckline, but you actually can barely see those because this does fold over. So it's not even noticeable. So I still picked it up. This is a jumpsuit from Loft and it is a size six. I recently was watching someone's video and they talked about how Ann Taylor is like the higher end of loft and then loft is just like a diffusion brand if you will i'm not really sure about that um but knowing that now i won't be picking up loft <laughs> so yeah this is just a really pretty uh jumpsuit it is kind of like a palazzo style i do think it may be cropped if i'm not mistaken but i guess it really depends on how tall you are but it does have like this uh flowy sleeve and this one does have pockets too so Probably gonna price that one at about, I don't know, maybe $28 and hope to get 20 for it. This is Lands In, not really a brand that I pick up often, but this is a size large. This is a maxi dress and it's kind of like this gauze ombre print to it. So it's kind of like this really pretty pastel green and then it goes all the way down to white and it does have pockets and it's a size large. I initially put this in the pile to sell to a buy sell trade store, but then I was like, you know what? Let me try to sell that. This is a Free People mini dress. Um, I'm hoping to find a stock photo for it. This is a size medium. I think it is like a linen blend, but it's kind of like a full wrap dress and it does have like this really pretty ruffle detail to it. And then it's striped, so it's a pretty good colorway. All right, so this is a denim and supply like whimsy goth baby doll dress. It is a mini and then it does kind of have like this you know bell boho sleeve here and i picked this up even though denim and ralph lauren has not been selling for me i do think with the right tags i can pull in the right buyer and uh since i am back on depop i'm hoping that that can do well over there this is a peter millar top this is the summer comfort which is their uh like best you know style from their brand and this is a medium it is a men's wear brand and i went on to pick this up well it's menswear and women's wear so it sells both but i'm probably going to price that one at like 
Um, it is a medium, so probably like $30 and hope to get about $25 for it. This is a new to me brand called Alpha Tori. Hopefully I said that right. I actually went to their website. This brand is actually sold in Europe and um, these sweaters go for $300 in Euro, which is $322 in American dollars. So this shit is expensive. Um, but I went on and picked this up to try it out. I did check comps for America and the comps aren't that great. I mean, we're talking about, you know, 20 to $30 and I guess that's probably normal I don't know but that's pretty much where I'm gonna price mine probably on the higher end of like 35 in hopes to get about 25 to 30 this is also a new to me brand um, the brand is called horn legend it's an extra large this is their performance luxury it's just a quarter zip um, I actually can't remember what the comps were looking like when I sourced this even though it was literally just yesterday but it had to have been decent for me to pick it up I try not to pick up anything where um, it's only selling for $15 so that means that I would have to price mine at $15 or a little bit under just to get mine sold so I try not to pick up anything that warrants that specific price point so it had to at the very least been about $20. This is a men's Lululemon basic black t-shirt. I actually felt the quality of it. And I was like, oh, this got to be Lululemon. And it was. So I love when that happens. And it's a basic. So this one's like a medium. That's what the measurements are telling me. This is a uh, style pickup. But the brand is called Sunset Cove. Where dreams are made. And ironically enough, this brand is doing okay. Granted, we are not in season, so I think it'll do a lot better when we are in the, you know, spring and summer season. But I'm probably going to price this one, like, at about $25 and hope to get about $20 for it. Hopefully you guys see a running theme here. $20 for each item is essentially what I want my item to sell for because then I can get to that $15 net profit in um, each item that I pick up. This is a St. John's piece. Okay, now I notice that it's missing one of the shoulder pads. Anyway, so this is just one of those uh, Santana knit like cardigan jacket situations. This one unfortunately does have a flaw. It is a hole right by the shoulder. I do think that since these pieces are incredibly expensive, somebody can take this to the tailor and easily get that sewn up. So I'm definitely not going to price this high. I'm thinking right at the top of my head, maybe like $38 and try to get $30 for it. This is Duluth Trading Co. I've been having a lot of luck selling the women's items and um, this one is a medium. It's just a button down, but this pocket in the front, that zipper pocket, I think that definitely adds a lot of value to their pieces. So if you come across Duluth and then it has like that pocket, you definitely should get it because I sold a literal tank top for $20. I think it was either $20 or $24 uh, just because it had a zipper in it. And I almost put it back because it was too plain. But once I saw that zipper pocket, I was like, oh yeah, you're coming home with me. This is Club Monaco. Now, I am unsure if this is men's or women's. Uh, going by the measurements, I do think this is men's wear. So, I don't know. Um, I thought that this brand only sold women's items. But then again, I just never came across men's wear piece. But this is a size large. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit more research. I have to actually list that today. Most of these um, I photographed this morning. So, I got to list them. This is We The Free, size large. It is just this waffle thermal knit. It's nothing too crazy about it. It does have a small flaw in the front, so that is amazing. Um, everything with the flaw nowadays, I actually attempt to stain, treat, and wash. I don't just like list it. Before, I'm like, oh, who cares? Let me just list it. But now, like, I actually try, and they don't be coming up. This is a pretty good brand to look out for. It's called Cut Loose. Um, it's just this black tunic linen top. And yeah, it's like a nice little long line situation. This is a size small. This is Polo Ralph Lauren. This is just a women's off the shoulder overlay eyelet crochet detail situation. This is going to look so cute with like a pair of white jeans. Um, Y'all know the look, <laughs> the, the spring look where white denim is like the it girl. This is Free People. Again, this is actually a size large and it's just this really pretty distressed boho um, you know sweater so I picked this up I think this one doesn't have flaws thank the lord and then this is another free people piece this one does have flaws 
Um, but this one's also a large, or is it extra large? Yeah, this one's a large. And yeah, I don't know what all I'm gonna use as keywords, but I will be listing this and I'm excited to see how it's gonna do just because it is a large. This is Chico's. Um, this is a 100% leather and it is a size three and it has this really pretty detail to the front and that was the main reason why i got it i mean due to the fact that it was genuine leather but like look at that detail to the front that is just so stinking cute and then the you know the cuff also has the detail to it it is open front and with it being a size three that means that it is an extra large these are a pair of Patagonia baggies. These are an extra large. They do have a lot of wear between the thighs. So whoever was the previous owner, they had a lot of thigh rub to them. Um, and then also the drawstring is kind of like MIA on one of them. But I still picked it up. At the very least, I can get about $15 for these. I'm only going to price those at like maybe $18 and hope to sell them for like $15. This is a new to me brand called Marsh wear size 32 these are also flawed <laughs> um it is very faint well i mean let me not say very faint it's just like a little bit of um discoloration to the thigh but nothing too crazy definitely um completely forgot about what this brand actually sells for so probably gonna price it at about 28 dollars and hope for 20. i really keep the same type of pricing strategy with most of my pieces unless it's like a sought after style you know in some way um the goal is to profit a decent amount off of each piece um this is banana republic look like it is new without tags this is a size 12 long which is a you know tall size and these are incredibly long so this must be for a girly that's like 5'11 or something and they are a wool blend which is nice this is a brand um, that I am testing out. It's called Havana Shirt Co. This is gonna do better in the spring and summertime, but these are just a pair of men linen pants and they are really, really high quality. Like, they just feel so nice. All right, so this is Ashley Stewart. It is a size 24, 100% cotton, and it's just this plus size denim jumpsuit. It is a straight leg situation. And it does have like this gold hardware detail to the front and then like a front zipper. I do think it's going to do well. It does have minor uh, flaws. The back neckline has like some stain into it. But I feel like if you wear your hair long, you could definitely, you know, not even see that. Real quick, <laughs> uh, the bins are getting more and more competitive. Now, before I was able to go in there, get a cart, shop. Now I can never get a cart because everybody and their mama want to go up in there as soon as they open up and then they keep the cart off to the side and we'll never see it again. So I don't even bother. That's why I have my Hulkin and I'm so happy that I have my Hulkin so I don't have to worry about that. But now instead of me being able to just look at picked over bands, I actually have to go to new bands because it ain't nothing there. Okay, so um they put out new bands now i'm very strategic i don't like to go to the new bands where it's you know the t-shirt bros and the hispanic ladies and then all the you know individual reseller girls so i like to get it right when it's the reseller girls and then um like half of the hispanic lady you know doing the do so once I worm my way in and I just kind of like try to sift through because at this point I can't like hand pick and look at everything. I kind of got to be quick with them just like they are too just because you already know what time we are on when you are picking at the bands and somebody is right next to you. You know what I'm saying? Like you trying to get it first. So anyways, I said all that to say, I found this. Now, the tag flashed before the green, so I, I snatched it. I snatched it up, I ain't even look it over. Um, so of course, when it came time for me to list, I did see a flaw, but this is not a flaw that's gonna, you know, ruin the, the quality of the item. Y'all see that? It's like right here. It's not washable, it's kinda more imprinted. I don't think y'all saw it. It doesn't matter, but it's it's very minor. Nobody's gonna even probably gonna see it when you're wearing it. But it's just a dress called the Bowden dress. So it is just like a t-shirt dress. It's buttoned down through the middle, and then it has like this really huge slit on the side. I don't know this exact colorway, um, but it's green, and I'm so happy for that find. 
I have that one priced at like $110, but I'm trying to get at the very minimum about $75 for it. So there we are. Now this piece, y'all, <laughs> I actually tried this on because I had every intentions of keeping it. It is a like vintage J Jill piece. This is 100% genuine goat suede leather. And it's so soft and so supple. Rest in peace to the goat that had to die for this. Um, but this one is a extra large petite, okay? And <sighs> y'all, it feels so nice. And for some reason, I always thought like leather jackets are heavy. This isn't heavy. This is very just like lightweight and it feels so good. And if the arms, honestly, I probably can get it tailored. I just like the arms to be just a little bit tighter. I don't like my arms to be flopping around in the, the arm section. But it's kind of like a longer line. So it's not a short, you know leather coat it's a longer line and i loved it and it's a full zip too it's a full zip this thing was in excellent condition whoever previously owned this they did right by it i definitely have that one priced up um i think i have it priced at like 45 dollars. i'm looking to get about 30 to 35 dollars for it so that is the end goal i'm i'm still i'm still <laughs> uh thinking about holding on to it but i'm gonna see if i can sell it before winter is over this is a brand called Judith March or Judith Hart, excuse me. Uh, it is a plus size brand. It is vintage. It is a size 16 wide or 16 W. This one was more of a style pickup and this was during the time that I couldn't find anything. So I had went through the picked over bins and I couldn't find anything. I was literally grasping for air at that point. Um, you guys will see with some more pieces I picked up. Um, but yeah, this is just a really pretty blue paisley print you know maxi dress and it's sleeveless i think somebody's gonna love this this is giving very much so like you know i'm about to just go run a few errands and i want to look cute that's what that is um this is a hurley jacket it's a man's jacket full zip i've i don't think i've picked this brand up in years because it's a slow mover but this was a substantial piece it's a jacket with the uh, chest zipper in the front and ironically enough um hurley jackets actually perform decently so i'm excited to see how that one's gonna do i think i have that one priced at like 35 i'm looking to get about 25 for it this is abercrombie kids which is a brand that i have recently started picking up this is just a puffer you know sherpa line navy blue jacket this is of course the kids and it's a size 11 12 but i saw one listed at like 50 dollars, so i think i priced mine at 35 i'm trying to get about 25 to 30 for it even though we are kind of gravitating out of that season i picked this up just because it has corona on the front which is not a good reason to pick something up but you know you let me learn the brand is called calypso joe i did actually check the comps and the sell through rate and the sell through rate wasn't good <laughs> but at the very least i can get about 14 dollars for this so um when the time is right we'll definitely see how that one's gonna do this is actually a pretty um expensive brand it's called charlie b and yeah it is a medium and this style is really really pretty um it is like a gauzy material and it's white and green i definitely tried to tag like resort and vacation and summer on this piece but I think I priced that one a little high, even though it's probably only going to sell for like $25 to $30. Now, this is what I was saying. I was, you know, grasping for straws, but I thought, you know what? This is probably the best time to try to try out new brands. And um, I picked up Susan Graber. Now, ironically enough, I did check the sell through rate on this brand and it's sitting at about like 40%. So I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and just, you know, see how it's going to do. So I already got a liker on Mercari. So we'll see. We'll see. This is universal standard. It is an extra small, but technically this is a large. So they do use vanity sizing. And I hate that they do that because it confuses people. So their extra small is actually a size 12 to 14. But yeah, it's just this really pretty like V-neck sweatshirt. This wasn't even in a like a new fresh bin. Oh my God, I am I am so ecstatic. Now I did price it high, but I checked the comps y'all. And since mine is new at tags, your girl is about to get paid. Anyways, uh, it is purple label Ralph Lauren. 
now like i just told y'all mine is new with tags um you can barely see but we are about to get some money so it is new with tags it is a 48l now this is like a very lightweight um wool because it is a wool you know style which is crazy because like i just told y'all before i can feel wool this does not feel like wool this is just very it's probably you know finely finely made but y'all i was flabbergasted now this one is priced at about like 800 dollars, and it's only because this retails for 3500 dollars. okay 3500 dollars brand new with tag that's how much this costs and i'm selling it for only 800 dollars. like you can't tell me that's not a still of a deal now i came across the exact style name for this one tell me why the camera just cut off while i was talking but anyways that was my favorite piece um if that one sells for at the very least about six hundred dollars it'll be the most expensive thing that i've ever sold that is where we are at that one just really made me excited this is not as exciting but the brand is called x go and it's just like a flame uh retardant is it retardant or resistant I'm not really sure. Um, T-shirt. So I picked that up. That is a size small. This is Uniqlo. Like I told y'all, this is my bread and butter. It is in men's and it's a large, excuse me, it's an extra large and it's just a black crew neck. This is actually still sold on their website. So I did have to price mine a little bit lower. Uniqlo is not a brand that is sold for a lot of money. So you definitely won't be getting a lot of money for it. I mean, at the very most, they are selling stuff for like 50 to $60. So you buying it and then, you know, trying to flip it, it's best to go to a Ben's location um, because you're probably only going to make about 20 to $25 for it. So just be mindful of that. This is again, um, that Alpha Tori brand. This one is a little bit more plain and it's just a crew neck as well. I do have a sneaking suspicion the same person dropped this and the Uniglow off. They must have came in from overseas and they got rid of it because Uniglow is not an American brand. All right, this is a loft dress. This was a style pickup and I did have to look up the RN number to know that this was loft but I picked this up due to style. It is this really pretty paisley print. These are a pair of men's Levi's. I recently watched another YouTuber's video and he was talking about um, different styles of Levi's, of course, going to warrant more money. 501 is like the most popular, um, but he talked about more rare styles and I forget if it was 517 or 519, I can't remember. But I looked into this one and this was the 527 style and I was like, let me just see like what this one does. This one has a 100% sell through rate. So it was like, 3600 listed and 3700 sold so i was like oh yeah you're coming home with me um now the price point is not as high the price point is probably about 25 to 40 dollars but you know that really depends on the style you have and the size this one's a 36 by 32 so i think that's going to warrant at least a 30 dollar sale this is a style pickup as well we are transitioning um i went back and forth on whether or not i want to sell this to a buy sell trade store or try it myself but i said you know what let me test it out and the brand is called artesian new york it is 100 percent linen it's just this really pretty pull on skirt and yeah it's like a maxi and i picked it up and i'm excited to see how it's gonna do the comps on it wasn't that <laughs> that great but i still picked it up okay y'all my battery is about to die so let me swap it out we're back now real quick before i get into this next piece <laughs> I feel like I'm much more talkative in this um, haul. But for a day, for me to go in there and within like the first hour and a half, I'm already plotting my escape, I came across some great pieces. Now, this one I just went through casually. It was in a picked over bin. And when I looked at it, I'm like, I feel like I heard a YouTuber talk about this brand. So I saw this first. It says free city and then i was like i know i heard somebody talk about this brand so then i looked at this and then i'm like well it doesn't say free city on it but i said you know what let me just take it now and then i'll look more into it later i actually just took it home i of course checked for flaws there was no flaws and i got home and it was time for me to list it and i was like oh my god so these are retailing 
$255 for some damn sweatpants. Now, I'll be honest with y'all, they are incredibly soft. Um, they are made out of Modal, um, which is a great like fabric that is very just soft um, and like sweat wicking. But these are just like some basic ass sweatpants. These are size extra small. I did price mine high because these were selling between $60 to $120, y'all, for some sweatpants. So I picked these up at the bins and y'all I'm gonna make some money I priced mine pretty high because these are in excellent condition um and yeah I'm, I'm excited to see how they're gonna do I'm at the very least trying to get about $85 for these just because there's no flaws I feel like with some items that are flawed you kind of gotta take close to what you can get but that one I'm getting some good money for so these are a pair of Zara pants <laughs> Um, I actually picked these up even after I found some great items. I want to say that other word, is it gauchos? Coolettes? Is that how you pronounce that word? I don't even know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what these are. They're pull on style. I did see one person, um, with these listed and they had a lot of likes on it and theirs is priced a little bit higher. So I did bring mine down a little bit so I can get a quicker flip. So I'm probably going to get maybe about $20, $25 for those. This is a brand that I initially picked up because I thought that the quality of them felt really nice. It's a new to me brand called North Yard. Honestly, I wouldn't commit it to memory <laughs> uh, because when I checked comps, I noticed that they were only selling for about 10 to $15, but I came across two. So I saw the first pair and then I was just like, uh, I checked comps quickly, didn't find anything. So I went on and left and I saw these. So then I was like, oh, let me go and get these blue ones again. And then we'll just lock them together. So I'm trying to get at the very least about $25 for those. This is a brand that for some reason I thought it was doing a lot better when I checked comps than it was when I actually checked comps at home. Uh, the brand is called Super Dry. Um, and it's just these men's wear like, you know, swim trunks. This one does have like that nightlife to it, which I think is pretty dope. And of course the comps weren't that great due to the fact that um, we are in winter time. So I can't be too upset, but they are sold at ASO. So I had to price mine accordingly. We're almost done y'all. I got two kids pieces. This is just a cute little girl's um, REI jacket. I think it's kind of like a windbreaker, like rain jacket, if you will. And it just has this really pretty floral graphic to it. So I picked it up and um, this one is a toddler 3T. And yeah, I got that. Probably gonna get like 15 to 20 for that one. Same for this one. This is a baby gap puffer vest it does have like this really pretty animal print and then this very vibrant pink lining to it and um this is my first time picking up baby gap so we'll see how it does and this is a five years old toddler so we'll see but yeah y'all that was my haul please let me know down below what was your favorite item honestly you already see my three favorite ones. I am always excited for anything that I can sell over $50. I don't care what anybody says. I'm a volume seller, so I do sell a lot. And I mean a lot of $20 to $30 items. Like, And I'm grateful for that. Don't get me wrong. But when I can come across an item that I can flip for over $50, let alone over $100, let alone for over $600, I'm ecstatic, especially because I paid a dollar for these things. And you know, you win some and you lose some. And today, this haul was a win, okay? Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.